man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch and they don't give a brick is yeah, this man, this man hit me, fucking grabbed a rock, and it hit now, me. Now, like, this video is trending all over the internet, and it has caused some kind of division between opinions and views. Some are for the motion, some are against the motion. Now, in every story, there are three sides. There is your side, another person's side, and then the truth. And this lady's name is Ro, or Ro Reports, on TikTok. And she's a Somali-Haitian woman living in Texas. USA and according to her story she went to the club and after the club a man asked them for her number she refused to give the man her number and then this is what happened to her now a lot of people have shared their opinion about this others have come out with different videos of her that may make like it's like they are trying to prove that she deserves this others are saying she doesn't deserve this we'll weigh the options and i want to hear your opinion on this I have the full gist. I'm the headless YouTuber, there's headless reactions. I like to Yanko! Now, if you go to this lady's TikTok page, you will see that obviously she's a lesbian and she has been, you know, preaching girl power and women don't need protection from men, a lot of things. Now, when this happened, some people have gone to pull out some kind of videos. But first off, this is the first video she made when she came from the club or when the thing happened to her and she was chastising all the men standing by that you people are standing around and you watch another man do this to me and you didn't say anything you didn't stop him you didn't come to my defense and the men were asking her that what do you want us to do and she was telling the men i need you to be men i need you to be men protect the women watch this video this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch the and they don't give a fuck. The brick is. Yeah, this, the man, is. this man hit me fucking grabbed a rock and it hit me in my fucking face because I would have given him my number. The brick and is. all y'all just fucking watch. What you y'all see that shit? What you y'all see that shit? What do y'all want to do? I want y'all to be a man. I want y'all to be a man and fucking do something. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face. Man, fuck all y'all niggas. Now, she was later taken to the hospital and she kept doing videos updating people and ranting, saying that she hasn't done anything to deserve this kind of treatment. Now, if you ask somebody for their phone number and the person says, I will not give it to you, just move on. Why should you take a break and do this to her? So she kept on ranting and pouring out her frustration and I understand her because if you ask me for my phone number and I don't give my phone number to you, and you come and do this to me for what because of phone number it's not like i've insulted you or whatever now this is her side of the story watch this have i ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this i never did anything in my life to hurt anybody literally a man asked me for my number i said no and he he picked up a brick in front of so many men and was like, what are you going to do? And I told all these men, like, yo, why is this man got a brick on my face? And he's, he's holding a brick and all these niggas is watching and nobody does nothing. And he hits me in my face and then they're all just watching. And they let that nigga get in a car. How is this okay? This is what y'all doing to women? like don't understand like i'm just trying to take my friend out from five years ago like literally spending my whole money not bothering nobody like what i'm in the parking lot just trying to buy some food and like i'm literally like why boss it up on me like this and i'm looking at all they literally do all of this and he's gonna get away with it he got in a car he got away he never gonna get caught. He's gonna move on. He's probably at an after party right now having a good time. Do you feel good about yourself doing this to a woman? For what? Like, all this violence against black women is not okay. Like, what do I do to deserve this? Like, how? what is my defense against this? I haven't been out all year. I only came out because my friend was in 
it's out. And look at me now. Look at me now. I got a whole nother ear. I care about my face because I'm still gonna be prettier than all of you. I have a pretty heart. But my heart is broken, y'all. My heart is broken because I will stand up for any of y'all. I stand up for everybody. I stand up for everybody. And nobody ever stands up for me. And my heart is broken. Still, it's been 12 hours. I'm in the hospital. I'm getting discharged. I do have a concussion, so I gotta take it slow for the week. Unfortunately, I don't have the kind of job that's gonna give me that kind of grace. So, you know, I still got a mother. I still gotta teach. Now, if you go online and lots of support for her, people are just bashing men. People are saying a lot of things. That's why should this happen? And there are some other people who have also come out with other clips. Like they went to her TikTok page to bring some other videos. And it's like they are trying to paint a picture that maybe she did something that made her deserve such a treatment. Now, personally, I don't think anybody deserves to be hit in the face with a brick. Except maybe the person has come to your house to come and threaten you or your family. Maybe a thief or, you know, somebody. And you are defending yourself. That one, they're fine. But to ask somebody for their number. And they tell you, no, 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 I will not give you my number. And then you do this. No. But some people are bringing us some videos. That is making it look like they are trying to justify what happened to her. Don't you ever fuck with me on the ever again. Now with this, it's like now they are trying to change the narrative that, oh, so you are not as innocent as you are trying to preach. That yes, what happened to you is not fine, boom. But don't be saying, I don't deserve this, as if you've not done something bad. And you are just walking around like Holy Mary. And this is what you are doing, slapping men. And then they went to pull out another video of a head, the same lady in Pride Month. She was talking about men and how men are not protectors and people shouldn't pay attention to men and stuff like that. Praising women and then dogging men. Watch this video. Happy Pride. I hope every black woman is kissing another black woman because we are the innate protectors and the providers. We protect societies, we protect communities with our intellectual property, with our lived experiences, with our breast milk, with our bodies. We're the ones and the two. Bitch, not even the three. Because <laughs> men are not providers and protectors, not innately, because they only protect what they possess. But we protect everybody and we provide, baby, okay? So I hope you catch a girl tonight, because I hope I do. Ew. <laughs> And don't forget, before there was feminism, it was lesbians who were living those lives without worried about niggas. Like, they were not worried about niggas. They were decentering men. So before there was feminism, there were lesbians. Hey, excuse me, thank you. And then there are other videos on her TikTok where, like, the way she slapped the other guy. It's like something she does, like part of her content. Where she goes to white men and tell white men that you people for repatriation sake and then, 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 Watch this. This is for the uh, fact that you're a white man and I'm a black woman. I have less privilege than you. Thank you. Oh, I feel bad. <laughs> so now there are two sides. So now it looks like maybe because of the kind of things she's doing on her TikTok, people know her for this. That you, dear, you are always bashing men. And you don't care about men and women power. And the time you were slapping some of Brody Kano, there were women around and the women did not come to the defense of the man. They just passed by and watch you do your thing. So if a man is doing something to you and other men didn't come to your defense and they are just walking around and doing their thing, why are you shouting? This is what some people are saying. It could also be that, okay, then maybe the person has targeted her, that this girl, now, if you go and ask somebody for their phone number, the person is a lesbian. She's not interested in men. Why should you get angry and do this? So, it's like there's a divided opinion on social media now. And it's turning into gender war. Men versus women. Or feminists versus what men or whatever. That one, one side is saying, this is why we hate men. Don't do this. Why, why should you do this to somebody? Another side is saying, if 
you people are saying men are DNA and you don't need men's protection and men are not protectors and power to the women there they now. Then why don't you protect yourself since you, you claim you are strong enough? And this is the debate. And I would really like to hear your opinion on this. Personally, I think nobody deserves this kind of thing to happen to them. Except maybe the person is a thief or the person is threatening your life. Aside that, from what she is saying, if you are going to take her side of the story and the phone number, hmm. But if whatever happened after maybe she disrespected the man or maybe she hit the man first or whatever it is, we don't know, we are not privy to that information. But from what we can see on her TikTok, she is an activist or, you know, a strong feminist who believes in women power needed. Now, from all these videos, now share your comments in the comment section. I want to read and know your thoughts on this. On what this woman is going through and whether she is trying to play the victim card or she indeed is going through this out of like maybe she has not done anything wrong. Share your views in the comment section. I would really love to read your comments. And I don't know, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notification. We are almost at 100,000 subscribers. So yes, kindly subscribe. And I don't know. Yeah,